Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to use double exposure luma key tool to key out black background from your video footage. And this uh, luma key tool is included with double exposure generator for After Effects. It is included as a preset, so to be able to use it you first need to save the preset file into your After Effects presets folder. I have already done this and now I have my video here, this white dove on black background. This is just a sample video. I have it in a separate composition. And now when this video layer is selected, I can go to Effects and Presets panel and under Animation Presets, I will find this DE Luma key preset here. And when I double click on it, it will add this to the video layer. So here you can see all the controls are open on Effect Controls panel. And if you can't see yours, then uh, go to Window here and you can open Effect Controls panel from here. So I will first close these last three controls here. And now the first thing to do with your video is to view it in different color channels. You can do that using this button here red, green, blue, or then you can also use a uh, shortcut holding down ALT and then pressing 1, 2 and 3. And you can see by the colored line which color channel you are viewing. So what we are looking here for is uh, which color channel has the most contrast between the foreground and the background. And for this video I can see it is the red channel. So now I can go to Effect Controls panel and here on the D key it, I will change this channel selection to red. And now this use uses the red channel to key out the background. And to key out the black background or darker colors, I will use this first slider, Luma Minimum. So for black or dark colors, Luma Minimum. And for white or lighter colors, Luma Maximum slider. And I will just start to drag this uh, slider to the right. And you can see the background is going transparent. And I will move this to the right until it's totally transparent. I will also turn on the background color here, which is red, so I can better see what is going on. And now in case your foreground object has a lot of fine detail in the edges, or it has a motion blur, or uh, feathered areas, mm, like uh, in this case, in my video here, then I can turn on this last control, last effect here, Refine Soft Matte. So I will turn this on and open this one. And here you can see are a few different controls you can change the values for. And I will take down this additional edge radius to 5. And um, you can change also these other values, Smooth, Feather, Contrast, Shift Edge and also turn on the Chatter Reduction and change the value for this one. So it all totally depends on your video footage and how much detail are there in the edges. And in case your object has really simple edges, then you don't need to turn this last effect on at all because it will also make the render time longer. But in this case, like here, it is uh, really good to use because it makes the key much better. So here we have uh, keyed out the black background and now I can use this uh, uh, in the foreground placeholder inside a double exposure scene or uh, over some other background in fiddle also. And in case your uh, contrast values are changing through the video then you can also keyframe all these uh, sliders so you can keep your key, key looking really good. And in the next tutorial I will show you how to key out white background from your video. So uh, 
If, in case you have any comments or uh, questions regarding this, please let us know through email or uh, below this uh, video in the comments. And uh, please also subscribe if you want to get uh, notified when we'll be adding more tutorials to this uh, channel. Thank you. Bye.